I can tell from talking to you that your spirit's every bit as big as, you know, some people's Instagram's a lot bigger than they are. <laughs> but I can tell you, your Instagram's not bigger than you. Like, you're a real person. I try to um, be. <laughs> sincerely, I hope you can see the look on my face. I'm incredibly impressed. I'm, and I hope you do good things with these. You did what I asked, and then some. It would be a crime for me not to Hey guys, yeah. well, you remember this? I can't wait. Now to... look. <laughs>
And that's how I stumbled across you guys because one of your images is on another company's website. And I started, I'm one of those people, like if I see something wrong, I'm gonna flag it for Google. So then I sent a message, I said, okay, let's see how they respond to a message. Am I going to get an automatic email or is a human going to respond? And I was very impressed that someone responded. You know, it wasn't, oh, we'll get back to you in three to six days. Or it was an actual response to my request. You guys, your customer service was impeccable. So I said, okay, this is a company I need to do business with. How are you doing? Hi, pleased to meet you. Bill oh, Watson's pleasure. Thank you more than you know. Uh, how was your flight? It was fantastic. It was th they always ask. We, we've never met. No. I met you just now. Like you, we, they've taught, normally, I, like, I'll have a conversation with some people, like I'll have a question or something. But mostly what you've done is work with people from our company. And today, we didn't, we didn't do anything. We just, I met you and I walked in just now. I will tell you, though, I've learned a little bit about you in different phases of the last six months or something, maybe more than that. And, Incredibly impressive, Thank like you. incredibly impressive. The majority of the people that we work with have really bad smiles, unlike what you have. Like your smile would be considered acceptable in every social arena. But people, like they say, if it's just a little bit, and it's your little bit, then it means a lot to you. Yes. And I'm hoping that you can be a voice for people who say, you know, do your investigation and accept some things that, that's not 10 or 15 or $20,000. Um, and the most important deal is that if I can get you a smile that you're proud of, that looks perfect, and you don't have to grind or drill your existing teeth, I'm real anti-grinding. I wish, even if it wasn't for me, I would still want someone to send the message or think that the responsibility would be on dentistry for you guys to come up with something that's less invasive. That if I would have said, uh, Paradise, let me give you this first set six months ago. There's been three other changes. Today, I wouldn't be able to, if they were permanent, today I wouldn't be able to talk to you about new changes because, oh, we already gave her the old ones. Right. Like they're already on. But you see what you just said? Mm -hmm. You could have offered, when I first reached out to you, you guys could have sent me something, said, okay, here we go. Yeah. Do this. You're right. But you guys have, similar to what I've done, I've done my research, mm -hmm. you guys have steps. You said, okay, if I'm going to take on a client, I'm going to give them the best that we can offer. And it, yeah. when you realize that your best could be improved on, you said, okay, so, hold on, it might take longer, but I'm still going to improve even though my best, and I'm going to continue to do my research and improve. A lot of companies, including unfortunately some dentistry companies, they don't do that. And unfortunately, in life, especially in my industry, we settle for what we can get right now, the quick, fast, What's immediately, without any real patience or research, but you guys have taken the time to communicate what is it that you're wanting from this? What This is what we can yeah. do. And you've taken what you can do and you've expanded to your best. And you're still, as I'm sure as the years will go on, you're still going to continue to your research and expand to the best of your abilities without accepting, well, this is good enough. Let me tell you, if you're, if you're in pageants, there's 10,000 dentists in the state of, in the South that would love to, do your, to, to bring you in and drill your teeth. So you must have had some form of resistance. I could have a friend and he showed me where his veneer came off. Like yeah. it, it broke and so he, I was like, where's your tooth? <laughs> he goes, they take it away. And I said, so now what? So now you'd have gone through this whole invasive procedure. You spent all this money. Mm -hmm. You spent all this time to heal and now what? He goes, I gotta do it again. And I said, oh no, mm -mm. that doesn't work for me. Right. Problem, solution, move forward. And if, yeah. I, if I have a problem, I need to find the best solution, the best realistic solution for me as well. And well, you guys are it. <laughs> if I don't say it enough, I'm incredibly, appreci incredibly appreciative. Uh, I've seen your models, I've seen your work. I can't wait to see what these look like on. I'm excited. You ready to? Let me put some gloves on. I have some different changes, but my math tells me that these will work perfect. Okay. If they don't, like I say, it always comes down to the impression. So I'm going to ask you to try these in yourself. I'm going to put this here. Wait, I'm going to hand you this. And I'm going to let you see. really light. <laughs> <laughs> they are really light. So I just... Yep, let's see what you think. This is in perfect. Okay. Yeah, wow. I can actually smile on both sides without... They look so incredibly amazing. And the way we rounded them, it gives you that youth, bouncy, high energy look. I look like I've had braces. You like look it like doesn't. You, had, you, look like you had perfect teeth forever. <laughs> yes. 
daylight they're real perfect and like, like perfect. as i put my tongue at the back like you, you when you think of things like anything that you press on you you picture your grandmother's dentures it doesn't feel like that like when i put my teeth my tongue to the back of my mouth i can't feel like where something i can like i can't push it out <laughs> you got perfectly rounded teeth that look amazing that's incredible and you don't even feel them no like i said i can feel something but it doesn't feel like because i wear vampire teeth for halloween it doesn't feel like that like of course you're going to feel a material but it doesn't feel like, but oh, there's something they're, they're, in my mouth. They're asleep. They're almost not there. Yeah, they're really thin. And that's, and that's after just putting them in. They look amazing. They look amazing. I'm excited. It feels... <sighs> I was explaining that I'm very confident in myself. There's not... I When I went through chemo, I walked out bald, bedazzled in my head. It's nothing someone else can tell me about me that I don't already know. People say, oh, your teeth are fine, just, you know, it's a quick. I don't like it. So inside, I will smile and do my job, but realistically on the inside, I'm like, oh. Turn your head, you smile. Realize, you don't realize something. I promise you, please believe me on this. They look perfectly polished, well shiny. And match, like I was looking at the back teeth, they, just the fit, not even just the color, the fit goes perfectly in line. I'm, I'm, I'm telling you, you're going to be so shocked at how bright, white, and beautiful your teeth are. <laughs> um, and then you can really see the color change, like, in my bottom versus my top. What's next? That's incredible. But look how much whiter they look. They look perfect, straight. You've never seen your teeth with perfectly white teeth before, other than no. in pictures that you Photoshop. No, I've had to make this happen in Photoshop, and it's it's disheartening. Like it's a part of my industry, it's a part of my work, but to see this now, I don't have to sit there and post and you know copy and then light correct and try to fix the shading, get the lining. Like this is this is everything that I was hoping for when I first reached out to you guys. I will tell you, I've never seen a more impressive smile light up. It's almost like they plugged the light in. It looks perfect. It looks perfect. I can't imagine. I'm so I'm I'm literally less than 36 inches away from you, and I can't tell that they weren't 1,000 percent permanent. When I bite, mm -hmm. it doesn't can't like there's it. no shift. There's you're just that is amazing. Well, then we're going to have to see the bottoms. Now you always said the first ones are perfect, mm -hmm. but uh, you never can tell. We may have to make adjustments or whatever. We have this one. Boom. Now the bottom is what I was really worried because that whole side mm -hmm. comes in. We have it, you too. Oh wow, that's snug. Oh wow. It's gonna take a little bit because that bulk is a lot thicker than what the bottom, top one was because we had to change the appearance of the crowded and the precision that was in the back of those teeth. So we had to bring everything forward. So it's a much, let's see, now you see why. Yeah. You see that? That's incredible. Let me tell you, they look, <laughs> they look, they look perfect. They literally, if a doctor had grinded your teeth, the only reason they grind them is to bring out a smile that'll fill up, that'll uh, be a perfect fit for your face. And now I don't want to close because usually when I smile, I'm either. Oh, yeah. I'm very good about hiding this side. And Nobody has seen you need. with a perfect smile. This is no. the first time. You have to be seeing what I'm seeing. This is and wow. I don't know if it's possible because you're pretty young, but to take a lady that's in her 20s, you're like, <laughs> you just popped her up. Like you couldn't have done it better. They're a perfect fit for you. And I like the snap that I heard that lets me yeah. know that they're in they're place. Not good. They don't feel like they're coming out, do they? No. Like I'm if like, you could take them out, it's going to take two hands. <laughs> I'm pushing with my tongue. Now. But here's the thing. Imagine what your life would have been if I could have given those to you at 17. Imagine all the challenges, all the nights. Like, you know, you got to realize to, to, to us, it's nothing. You know, you're just now coming up. But to you, it's been it's been a journey. <laughs> it's been a nine, ten years minimum of where you've been a young adult. Every every time you've had to consider, I wish, I wish, I wish, 
these could have been available. You know, like the dentistry's been available. People have been getting dental veneers for more than you are old. Like you, you got relief after a few years. There are people that are watching this that are just as put together or would have made a bunch of choices that took different career choices or gave up. Or did they? And they're 10 years or 15 years older than you, and they still have had that same issue for twice as long. There should have been an option that was available to you at 17, the first day you go, I want them perfect. Because you have the right as a person to present yourself the best you can. You should have choices. Don't you agree? I agree. Um, so you don't, I don't know, I always tell them, I don't know if I want to celebrate that we fixed it today or be upset that it wasn't available 10 years ago. Because <laughs> I do know that your life would be a lot, I think you would have exerted and uh, accelerated in a lot of other places on your personality if it wasn't for things that weren't available to you, that wasn't really a choice. Things that I said no to, there were films, yeah. you know, public speaking engagements where I saw the set and I'm like, uh-uh, you, you can't, <laughs> nobody yeah. can be on that yeah. side, that I said no to because this was a problem, I no longer have to say no to. And that's a big thing to me, magazine publications, where you can't always, like, some photographers, I'm a bit of a control freak, they don't like for me to tell them, no, you can't shoot me on that side. And so I've had to say no to big projects because I'm like, oh, if you can't work with my parameters, because <laughs> I'm not going to let that yeah. be out there. I no longer have that with the wall that's in front of me saying, oh, sorry, remember this problem? This, I had a problem, Super. you have a solution, and now I can move forward. With the confidence that everyone believes I have, I now can have on the inside too. I want you to know that it's been a privilege doing this job. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank Keep you. your hand there, it's been amazing. Thank you. Um, but before I let you go, um, I'd like you to use the last bit of our blog to tell people about your foundation. Well, the Ketchup Falling Star is, it is my purpose. There is no other word to describe it. It is absolutely my drive for everything I do. I want people to know that what you're going through, you're not alone. And that even if it's only one person in this world, someone cares, someone's there for you. And I take the things that I've gone through and I say, okay, I'm not the only one feeling this way, so how can I, what can I give back to society so they know I don't have to feel this way? It's imperative for me to put them in a place mentally of, I don't have to feel this low. I can't do something about what I'm going through. Who do we say Google me? Who do we tell them to Google? At Paradise Rodriguez. Plus, okay. I now have a website for the Catch a Falling Star Foundation. Okay. So if you are on any of my social media, the Catch a Falling Star is right there next to it. We'll link it all. At the bottom, people are gonna have questions for you. Um, hopefully you'll be able to answer some of those questions for them. And then they know how to find you at Paradise Rodriguez. Yes. Uh, and we'll link your stuff. It's been a pleasure. Thank you. Thank you, Wayne. experience with Brighter Image Lab. I would absolutely recommend Brighter Image Lab to others. For me, it was impeccable that I could have a now solution, but I didn't want the drilling, I didn't want the downtime, and I wanted something that wasn't gonna be crazy expensive. I'm a college student, <laughs> so finances were very big into this, so this was a less expensive, non-invasive solution to my problem. There is no reason now for you to go through all that pain and extra expenses in the downtime. My heels make me taller, my brighter image lab veneers make my teeth perfect, my wigs make my hair long, there's literally nothing to stand in my way. If you made it this far, it's because you probably liked the video. Do me a favor, hit the like button and hit the subscribe button. Help us grow this channel. Our subscribers mean the world to us, I think you'll like what's coming this year. Amazing smile makeovers for people all over the world. Thank you for watching the video and hit the subscribe button. Talk to you later.